Lost Lens Cap here with a review of Think Tank Photos Retrospective 30 Camera Bag. The other week we had some nice weather, so I decided to head down to these uh, Friday night races at the Velodrome. First time I've ever uh, witnessed or shot one of these events. So I brought along the Retrospective 30 with my tripod and a Wimberley head for some panning. In the bag we had the Nikon D7000 battery grip, Black Rapid Sport. That's um, helped out from working in the pits or just getting some panning shots with some slower shutter speed later at night. Zooms were 7300 in the middle there. Some towels and lens cap in case it starts to rain. Longer zoom was a 300 f4 for depth of field. These are just some arm sleeves from my vest that can um, come off. The rain cover that comes with the bag just in case uh, some rain came in. 50 mil prime and a tele extender for some macro work on spokes and whatnot. Then, uh, depending if there's a rain delay or not, some snacks and a cable release for uh, dusk. And when it gets kind of darker, I, I thought I may have do some long exposures and brought some reading material, two magazines uh, in case there was a rain delay, which there wasn't, but I ended up bringing them anyway. And I'll go over some more details afterwards. So here's a look at the Retrospective 30 with its rain cover on. The rain cover you know, pretty much encloses the entire bag so you cannot uh, access your gear, at least through the front flap. There's a flap in the rear that's exposed. Um, just make sure to leave both of those straps free. I tend to use the shorter one from getting in and out of a car. Uh, it's just uh, it's an easier, shorter grab. Sometimes a larger shoulder strap can slip out of your hand. Um, looking at the back here, this is how the rain cover attaches. You just feed it underneath the smaller hand grip there. And uh, there's a little clip that attaches to that red ring there. And that's how the rain cover stays on. Goes around the bottom of the bag, which is kind of nice. And it leaves this back compartment open so you can still put notes in there or whatever you need. Taking it off, um, like I said, um, not very hard. Looking at the front of the bag, this doesn't have any clips. It uses a series of Velcro straps. Pretty sturdy, pretty industrial. In case that's too loud, you can also uh, silence these straps. It's very simple. Just undo this little Velcro thing here and then fold it on itself. That way it will um, mute the Velcro straps in case you're in an environment or at an event that uh, you want to be quiet. All right, looking around the back of the bag here is just a, a closer look at those silencers. You can also put in your business card. Taking a look at the interior of the bag, there is a back pocket where I fit in my iPad 2. That yellow foam is just craft foam that I've added. Makes it easier finding um, lens caps and whatnot when you're working early in the morning or late in the evening. Either side, there are these two pockets. I guess you could fit an SB600 in there, but I never put anything in there. I have it set up for three compartments, uh, basically just four lenses and a camera body. And it's all customizable with uh, Velcro inserts. Then up front, there's also another hidden compartment where you can stow uh, business cards, pens, notepad, whatever. And that can be also locked down with this Velcro. Up front, there are two larger compartments. You can fit in uh, a second body only or whatever you need. I will put in um, my Pixel Pocket Rocket or another jacket or something like that. It can fit up front whatever you need. Um, on the side, there are two loops where you can add in modular accessories and there's another pouch there, but I think it's very unusable. And that's a look at Think Tank Photos Retrospective 30. If you use the link in the description, you'll get a free gift on orders over $50.